Some of you may remember I had Ice Age Farmer on my podcast about a year ago, not realizing at the time that he was just another secret society shill, just like all of these influencers seem to be. For anyone unfamiliar with Ice Age Farmer, he makes YouTube videos about how there's going to be a catastrophic grand solar minimum, various other climate events leading to supply chain disruptions, basically fear-mongering and trying to scare everyone with things ranging from droughts to food shortages. And if you understand how the elites control everything, they manufacture reality, that nothing is happening naturally, it's obvious the guy is trying to put a curtain in front of those people. You make things up so no one realizes what's actually going on. And I did buy what he was saying back when I had him on the podcast, but you know, after taking a second look, there's no legitimacy to anything he's saying. So his main shtick is the grand solar minimum, the idea that the sun's activity dictates our climate, our temperature. And the only proof of this is sunspot observations, which are poorly made up charts of alleged solar activity. And this seems like something that is intellectual enough to trick some of the higher IQ population, but someone who sees through BS is going to ask for immediate proof. And that doesn't exist. You know, at the time, I, I just took it for granted, but if you look into it, like it's some very poorly made up charts and document, and there's no real history or evidence of any of this. It's, it's all made up. Ice Age Farmer is the definition of controlled opposition. He's appearing to be the good guy, possibly hinting at some truth that we're being lied to about, but his solution is to scare you, keep you in a fearful mindset. I mean, he tells people to buy a farm, hide out in the woods with a bag of seeds and some beans, and that's gonna save you from direct energy weapons, geoengineering, and climate droughts. Right. So the guy really likes cherry picking negative articles that never end up happening. He's been pulling the same nonsense for years now. It's just fear porn. Mega droughts, food shortages, global famine, harvest threatened, surveillance grid. Everything's going to get much worse. And he might be actually telling the truth. But again, he's not explaining that the elites control all of this and, and they're orchestrating it. And what drives me nuts is the guy's making so much money off of these people because they think he's helping them. The guy's verified on YouTube, has over a quarter million subscribers, and I actually used to have like double his subscribers and get more views than him, but how the tables have turned. He's getting hundreds of thousands of views on each video, and I've been getting a few hundred, and I'm stuck at the same subscriber count for months and months and months. So, so we know who's telling the truth and who's not based off what YouTube wants you to see. But what's his real purpose? Was he sent to tell people what they have to do so they don't have to participate in the New World Order smart cities? That's what I'm thinking. But, you know, again, instead of pointing out the obvious and telling the truth, he's beating around the bush and giving people the wrong solution. Everyone has heard of psychos like Bill Gates wanting to block out the sun. And then the news stories disappear. Oh, he never said that. They love lying. They love testing the waters. They love controlling the internet and the media. People like Bill Gates are actors. Bill Gates is an actor. Bill Gates is not rich. Bill Gates is not saying those things. They just take pictures of him and tell people that's what he said. The elite are using Bill Gates as one of the many pawns to show people what they intend on doing. That might not be how they get there, but the end result is what they want. There is no man powerful enough to do as what Bill Gates says. It's millions of organized secret society members enacting the new world order. They've admitted to things like geoengineering. We know they've been spraying chemtrails for how many years. They have technology. The average person would not understand if it was explained directly to them. If you sat a person in front of the most famous and powerful billionaires, if you put someone in front of Bill Gates, the average person, and Bill Gates told them the truth, it would be so fucking crazy that average person would not believe a word he was saying. The point is they control the climate. They also control the supply chain, every single aspect of it. And when you say those two things, you don't need to be making fear porn videos every week about this or that happening. The solution is there. We know they control it. 
How do we stop them? And I can't say those things without being wiped off the internet. I spoke about the Suez Canal a couple months ago being a staged secret society ritual. And there are evil, evil people on this planet that will do what they are told at the expense of everyone else, the billions of others on this planet. The cyber attacks on the meat processing plants were more obviously staged. The meat cutting machines aren't even connected to the internet. The supervisor walked in the plant, told everyone to go home for a few weeks, and then they published some news articles about a fake cyber attack and meat shortage. It's ridiculous that everyone has such a low IQ, they think a cyber attack is too intellectual to understand. Some genius hacker is doing something that can't be explained, grasped by the average mind. No, I want an explanation. You know, it's funny how they refer to the CIA as Russians now. I think that's pretty clever. FBI claims secret Russian hacker group shut down meat plants. Yeah, that's a very clever name for the CIA. And, and I'm surprised you pricks have time to watch my video. Don't you have a sauna party to attend? Uh, so thank you guys for joining me today. If you could please drop a like on the video. Subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And make sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, you can go to frank If you guys want to support me further through all of my businesses. <laughs>